Hey everyone, so welcome to the Airstream. I'm doing something a little different today. I'm giving you an actual tour inside of my mobile office and my Airstream. This is a 2004 Airstream Safari six sleeper. It's not a six sleeper anymore because we ripped out the dinette and that was an area for people to sleep. And the dinette has been converted, the dinette area has been converted into my mobile office and you've probably seen that before. What we're looking at now is the front of the Airstream, my happy little couch area, and then I've got a little space heater. I've also got my little pull-out um, table right there with the Joby Gorilla Pod on it and my normal vlogging camera, so that's the Sony A5100. Behind that, we've also got an extra monitor. And so when you see me on screen in the Airstream, I'm sitting at the desk that we're looking at, so I'm right behind the desk and I've got that Sony A5100 pointed at me as I'm recording. So to the left, we've got my iMac and um, above the iMac, we've got my um, Blue Yeti. So that is my condenser microphone that I use. So normally when I'm doing office work, this is where I'm sitting. So I've got the boom for the mic right there. And now you can see the whole area where the keyboard is and some of my under storage. And also you see bunches and bunches of my Hydro Flask water bottles. Now I'm backing up here just so that you can get a full view of the workspace. And I'm almost into my bedroom. So a 25 foot long Airstream trailer isn't that long, guys. All right, so let's move back up to the front and let's take a look through this. So what is all the gear? Of course, we've got the spare monitor for when I'm multitasking and working on websites. We've got the A5100. We've got the iMac with the Blue Yeti. And so that's actually what I'm recording with right now for doing this audio. Um, I've always got water bottles sitting here and there. And got to say, my glasses are driving me crazy. I need bifocals at this point in time. So, all right, there's the back side of the workspace, and you can see my uh, old MacBook Pro that's over four years old, still chugging along. I've also got my best tech inverter for when I'm running the computers and things off of the solar. So let's take a step back and really look at this. I absolutely love this workspace, and big thanks to my friend Don for helping to build this. Actually, not helping to build it. He built almost the whole thing, and then we installed it together. And one of the great things about the workspace is the fact that we made a lot of extra storage room. So let's take a look under the desk real quick. So I've got a lot of storage space there that I didn't have before with the old dinette. Below that, we actually measured my Pelican cases um, so that I could have multiple Pelican cases stowed underneath the desk. So we've got those right there. And then on the left-hand side, we see this weird blue bag. <laughs> That's my laundry bag. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Normally Pelican cases go there, but it was a great place to put laundry, so I was happy to do it. Now, on the upper level of that storage area, you can see my crumpler bag. That contains all of my drone gear um, for the Mavic Pro. We've also got the Osmo Mobile 2 case, and we've got a um, GoPro case as well. And there's still plenty of more storage in there. So I have to say, creating this workspace a couple years ago has been a game changer for living in the Airstream full time. I also wanted to show you the kitchen space. So my office is right next to the kitchen. Talk about convenient. So I've got a gas stove and a gas top uh, three burner stove there. And we've also got the old faithful microwave there in the background that's been with the Airstream since 2004. Talk about amazing. So it's worked out very well. As you're looking at the back of the Airstream, you can see the big white monolith there. And um, I'm just taking a sit down for a second uh, just to show you the view of the office space sitting on the couch. And uh, so, yep, that's, uh, that's what the normal work environment looks like in, here in the Airstream. So uh, not too spectacular, but it gets the job done. As I was pointing out before, we've got this white monolith in the back. So that is my Dyson HEPA filter. With, uh, with all my weird allergies, the Dyson HEPA filter is a must-have. So we're walking back into the bedroom area. So the video is getting a little grainy um, because it's actually dark in the, um, in the bedroom area right now. I didn't click the lights on. So we're getting a lot of noise here since we're shooting in such low light. So I do apologize for that. Um, I hadn't pre-planned that. Uh, when I was doing the video, it didn't look this pixelated. So, whoops, that's going to happen, you know, filming on the fly. 
So here's what the Airstream uh, whole area looks like from the bedroom. 25 feet is not a huge amount of space, guys. So if you're considering living and working from an RV or a tiny house, um, you don't have a lot of room for movement. Uh, you know, you can build things like this awesome workspace, but in the end, you've got you've to be really conscious about um, the space, your environment, um, what things you've got in your tiny home and what things you need to get out of your tiny home to make it livable for you because you have too many things in here and it just becomes absolute clutter. So I think we did a great job with the uh, desk space and I absolutely love it. It's like I said before, it was a game changer. It's uh, made working from the Airstream a lot more comfortable. So I hope you enjoyed this interior tour, taking a look around a 25 foot uh, Safari six sleeper from Airstream. And uh, all right, we'll see you in the next video, guys.